Welcome to Planet Phoenix, where old ideas and items come to be reborn into something uniquely remarkable. At least, that's the goal. You can decide for yourself. Today I'm building a Santa mailbox for my son and daughter-in-law's real estate company, Berger Realty. They wanted one for kids to drop their letters off to Santa while they watch the Christmas music and light show that they have displayed on the side of their company building. And so I'm thinking, what does a Santa mailbox look like? You know, I did a little research, Googled some things, and there were some ideas on there, but to me, I'm thinking that a Santa mailbox should be magical. And I didn't really see that, so I took some of the ideas that I did see um, and tried to add a little Phoenix twist to it, and this is what we came up with, and hopefully you'll enjoy this. At this point, I didn't bore you with all the uh, welding and grinding to get that thing smooth. Uh, doesn't make for that great of a video, I don't think. Um, and here, what we're doing, this is going to be an outdoor installation. And you know, most of these uh, pieces and products that I use are things we have laying around. Uh, so I'm just trying to weatherproof all the wood with epoxy filling all the gaps there's nothing that drives me more crazy when you paint the piece of cheap wood like that and you see all the cracks in it and all of that even though the paint would waterproof it to some degree i like to fill in all the cracks and then paint it so then even that wood will look like you can't tell whether it's metal as well because i did want this whole mailbox to look like the old-fashioned metal mailboxes
At this point, I'm working on the magical aspect where I think nothing says magical more than blingy lights. Um, so we're going to make this uh, shine through with some bullet pixels. Um, this is the same type of product that uh, we use for the uh, light show. So I'm just using leftover bullet pixels and some control boards, uh, that sort of thing to make this look magical. Now I'm doing the same thing here with the Bondo, just filling in all the cracks so it has a nice smooth finish so it doesn't look like a cheap piece of wood. Here I'm just showing you the uh, terrible welding job that I did. I'm not that great. Uh, Especially on uh, thin metal like that, I had some spots where I blew through it and I had to fill it all back in, so it just became a mess. But I have a little trick I've learned over the years, uh, you know, when you can't weld or you can't really get in there with a grinder and make that weld look nice and smooth, well, there's always Bondo. And at the end of the clip here, you'll see how nice and smooth this came out. Here I have some candy canes that were left over from a couple of Christmases ago uh, where the uh, lights just sort of burnt out inside of them and I had them laying around just thinking I might use them for something and uh, well, the day came I thought this would add a nice little magical touch if we could make these candy canes bling so we added more pixels.
Here we're getting into the brains of the lights, uh, building a little waterproof box with a power converter in there so it converts all the electricity to 12 volts. And then we have uh, which really isn't a control or a pixel controller, uh, but it's what I had. And it is a distribution board, but it has a little testing mechanism right on the board. So you can just hit that button and the lights will bling. So I think that suits our cause just fine for the mailbox. And all of the pixels, all the candy kings, everything will connect to this box. And uh, everything will operate from there. Here I'm showing you how nicely that uh, Bondo fixed those welds of mine, and I think it came out real sharp. At this point, I'm thinking things are going really well, but is it magical yet? And I'm just not thinking that it is. So I thought I'd put my CNC back to use, um, and I had some leftover uh, acrylic. And I thought, well, I think I know what I can do with that.
After adding our final decals, I think we've actually made a Santa mailbox that Santa would be proud of. So Santa, if you're out there and you're watching and you want a big fleet of these, give me a call. I hope you all enjoyed the build and if you did, you know, like and subscribe to see what we're going to do next. <laughs>